All right, so we've got the head here that came off of this engine, and uh, I actually pulled uh, one of those pieces of debris, pieces of piston ring, out from right about here in the intake runner. And uh, so you'll see the intake runner here, all the intake ports, are, they're all on kind of the same plane. What I mean by that is uh, you don't have an elevated intake runner for if, if debris comes out of this cylinder, you know, it, it doesn't have to work its way all the way up here and then, then find its way into another cylinder. No, they're all pretty much on the same level. And so debris from here can just kind of rattle around and then make its way into uh, other cylinders. And these are the two other cylinders that were heavily affected uh, by debris. And so that makes sense uh, when you consider the, the oscillation of pressure. You've got uh, air coming in, air going out at different times in the cylinder. So as things make its way through, you can see that it's possible for things to even get stuck in the valves. Now that is, I believe, an exhaust valve but that's still a piece of uh, piston that is stuck inside of that valve. So this engine had a really unhappy time uh, right at the end of its life, but we can give it a new life. This is just the kind of thing that our teardown guys get to see on a day-to-day -day basis, but I don't get to see. I thought I'd share it with you guys uh, because it's interesting to me to see why these engines fail and what happens when they do fail.